Good morning, everyone. So we had finished the first chapter of sociology. In that, I explained you just a brief idea of what is sociology, how is it helpful to you, how is it connected to the others, like it's closely connected to the other disciplines of social science. Next chapter is the continuation. Again, another very easy chapter. This is about terms, concepts, and their use in sociology. Terms and concepts. Now in sociology. we the mass subject matter is about the human life the human behavior the society so we have been staying in our society since the time we were born so we already have a prior knowledge of our society so it becomes all the more important for a discipline like sociology to have a terminology terminology means see geography has terms terms like वैसे रेंज अ रेंज ऑफ माउंटेन केमिस्ट्री हैज टर्म्स बेसिक एल्कली तो सेम वे sociology also has a terminology and concepts now these terms and social uh, concepts in sociology they develop they developed or evolved over of over time with a lot of uh, thinking lot of debating and all that some so that is why terms terminology is very important in sociology concepts were formed after the lot of debating discussions two so the two names you'll be hearing in sociology time and again one is karl marx the second one is emil durkheim you'll hear the name in throughout 11th 12th whenever you're studying mostly they are coming in every chapter because they've contributed a lot towards the subject they have been great thinkers so karl marx he says according to karl marx society has a lot of conflicts conflict means um uh, misand uh, quarrels so why the why does the society have conflicts because in our society according to him there are a lot of differences i am different from you you are different from me so all the individuals are different we belong to different backgrounds we belong to different classes so there is always struggle going on between different classes different individuals so that is why according to karl marx society has a lot of class struggles class conflicts on the other hand emile durkheim emile durkheim he says emile durkheim says society is harmonious harmonious means peaceful because according to him everyone in society every institution every social institution in society is performing its own function like he's compared like charles darwin society to an organism so in an organism different body parts are performing their own function so same way in society every social institution social institution example are family education school so every social institutions they are performing their own function so everyone if everyone is doing their own work why will there be fights between them so society that is why according to emile durkheim is harmonious the next thing is terms and concepts is clear it's important to have terminology in sociology there are concepts in sociology next is in sociology we are studying about humans human life human behavior so their interaction or how they are behaving uh, in with each other what is the relationship so uh, imagine there are terms we'll discuss is aggregate quasi group and social group and types of group in today's lecture four things aggregate quasi group social group and types of group so aggregate actually means a collection aggregate means collection so a group of people not a group sorry i'm using the wrong word aggregate means a collection of people example if you are waiting at the bus stand or if you are at the airport or you are waiting in a restaurant for your food to be served so do you have any connection with the other people waiting out there no that means you are not belong to the same group you are just a collection of people sitting at the same place so that is called an aggregate so example of aggregate is a given one year passengers okay next is quasi group aggregate can be referred to as quasi group quasi group i can say quasi group is an aggregate of the people the belonging to a quasi group they may be aware or they may not be aware of the existence of the other member of the group example if i say example of the people of the same gender all the females of the world belong to one quasi group 
all the females of the group belong to one group one quasi group another example is all the sports person so all the sports persons of the world are forming one quasi group so people of the quasi group may may be aware or may not be aware of the existence of the other that is quasi group so from aggregate quasi group is formed and from quasi group social group so social group is evolved over time social group is a, a, a quasi group becomes a social group where there when there comes a sense of belonging a stability when there is continuous interaction then that quasi group can be called a social group can be called a social group so social group has a lot of uh, features or characteristic you can say it has persistent or continuous interaction interaction there is stability stability means it keep, doesn't keep changing there is sense of belonging like suppose you belong to rkc or i belong to rkc so i have a sense of belonging to rkc so i am a part of this rkc group shared interest shared interest another example i'll give now you people are students of sociology so you all have one interest shared interest means one interest that you have to study sociology so that is the shared interest say shared beliefs shared ideas so when all this is there then we can say a social group is formed now there are different types of social groups like primary group so secondary group community peer group reference group all these are different different types of groups i'll explain you all these groups one by one and also give you examples there are different different types of groups namely primary group secondary group community society reference group peer group in group out group these are different different types of groups now after i explain you what is primary what is secondary group what is reference group you will be able to give examples on your own and think of examples on your own so let's get started first is primary group primary group is small here you can see only two people have drawn here so it is usually a smaller group a small group is a called can be called a primary group it has face to face interaction face to face like if i am talking to just you one person so one to one conversation so we are forming one group so we will be called a primary group because there is face to face interaction it is person oriented because people are closely connected there is a close connection between them it has they have informal relations between them so this is primary group secondary group is the opposite of primary secondary group primary is small secondary group is a larger group it does not have face to face interaction and it is goal oriented like if i take give you your example like suppose you people in the class a whole class will be a secondary group because everyone in the class is not very close to each other so they will not there will not be face to face interaction so a class is an example of a secondary group and a close group of friends it's an example of a primary group next is community community and society so community is another type of group that in that people have personal relations it is enduring personal informal relations close relations it is enduring means it it, uh, it is there for a longer time it is enduring group and the opposite of community is society society here there are personal relation in society there are impersonal or formal here it's informal this is formal personal relationships between people impersonal relationships intimate in uh, superficial means not very close just on the whole if you see they appear to be close but they are not close it is transitory means it's not permanent society this type of group is not permanent community can be parallel to primary group somewhat like primary group and society is like secondary group the next is reference group reference group means you've heard the word reference many times teachers tell you uh, take help of the reference books or uh, refer to this page refer means you are 
outsourcing or you are uh, suppose uh, i tell you who is your ideal or whom do you follow so many of you will answer you follow film stars cricketers so they are reference group understood so we refer to that we refer to them for fashion we follow models and all so the models cricketers film stars or some great officials ministers they are all reference group we refer to them we try and be like them we try we try and idealize them so they are reference group in the ancient times i'll give you another example in the british times when india was a colony of the british indians many indians wanted to be like the englishmen they wanted to lead a lifestyle like this so that time for the indians english was a reference group hope that's clear next is peer group peer group peer means a uh, people of your same age or same profession so my peer will be my colleagues in the school my colleagues in the staff room where whom with with whom i sit i work with your peer will be your classmates so they are your peers so that is peer group of the same age profession and peer group is mainly a primary group smaller close relation enduring clear next is in group and out group in group in group means when when a whole class is there suppose there's a group of friends they are close friends sharing very intimate close relationship with each other face to face interaction person oriented so for those people now suppose another girl comes from some other school to study in your school so that girl who's come to your school she will be and considered a out group she will be considered from a out group or another example i can give you um suppose migrants we you are native to rajkot so you are all of a in group and someone else from bihar or someone comes and settles to you in your city so you will consider them out group and with time with the passage of time or as the time passes the members of the out group can become the members of the in group clear so you should know the types of groups the differences and examples of all group that can be asked okay enough for today tomorrow we'll continue with social stratification caste class and the second chapter's explanation will be over notes will be given later on as and when you get your copies thank you have a nice day